Rated T for teen. We felt like the weapons were going to be the key component which would help you provide your own identity. We tried to give you as much ability to customize that. So let's say that you've got your favorite gun. Someone comes along and picks this weapon up and they're gonna know, hey, that's, that's George. Hey, that's Tom. That weapon is awesome. I just love stealing your gun. We felt like it gave it that unique feel that everyone wanted to have in a first person shooter that made you feel like you were unique. The weapon components that are featured in Blacklight are very tactical and also interchangeable with each other. They have a sense of the future, but they're also very grounded in things that are very real today. The way characters obtain various weapon components, you start out with very basics, tight aim, iron sight scopes, and then two presets per weapon. From there, each battle, you gain certain achievements. As you build those achievements, then it unlocks certain pieces that then you can have more presets. You can also take it and build your own weapons. Weapon tags are basically charms or trinkets that people attach to their weapons and sort of the crazy charms that people are adding to their cell phones and stuff. And weapons have their, their weapon sling loop. So we started developing tags actually that you can hang to this little thing and it has its own physics and everything and you can run around. And they actually uh, come associated with little perks that can improve the player's skill sets. It's definitely a, a little way to add a, a little bit more personalization to your weapon, and it's actually a very cool system. We tried to keep the weapons in Blacklight really, really grounded in reality. We did a lot of research, but we tried to take all the things that we really liked, everything that we thought that would be fun for a multiplayer game, and we based them off something in the real world. We say we took it 10 years in advance, some things you know, a little further, some things a little sci-fi, but in reality, most everything has got a grounded feel to it, and you don't feel like you're playing with ray guns or you know, Tesla technology. It's all based off of something that's in the real world today. The weapon attributes in Blacklight are actually very, very deep. There's up to about 25 different attributes that change on the weapons themselves with the new customization systems. Buttstocks themselves will, in a nutshell, control the kick as well as some of the velocities of the player. The barrel itself controls the spread as well as the center weight of the bullets. The scopes, of course, change zoom and optical views but also will change some of the accuracies of the weapons. The magazines themselves, of course, have the amount of ammo, but also the weight of the player and then the reload speed, which if you're in a firefight and you quickly reload, hopefully you're gonna win that match. But also the different base weapon systems makes the combinations huge. There's six core primary weapon systems. That times the 25, 30 different items that you can add on to each weapon, it just makes the combinations huge and it's extremely hard to balance. <laughs> the future of warfare is just around the corner. Download Blacklight Tango Down this summer on PlayStation Network, Xbox Live Arcade, and PC.